Unique to me is uniquely you. Balancing the different hats of life, achieving all your goals in the name of Christ. Unique to me is uniquely you. You can do anything. With the S on your chest, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You are a winner. So welcome guys, welcome to Uniquely Me with Simone Stewart. Guys, I have with me Rosemary Dunn. Rosemary don't remember me, but I remember her growing up in school. Flankers all age, that's where we started. Um, I was more in classes with her sister. Now Rosemary, while I'm welcoming you, I want to tell you something that you don't know and I don't know if your sister remembers. <laughs> The only time I fight in school was with your sister. I won't, I won't fight you now. I won't fight you. I won't fight you back. Because <laughs> guess what? Oh my God. Me know, so if you know some fight, I know. Mm. You don't fight me. Not true. Yes, I remember that at the time. Me know. I know. I was so overprotected of my sisters. Right. Yes. But let me welcome you to the platform you, of Uniquely Me. Thank Woman you. of God, let me tell you something. God have a way to connect us, you see? And when Sandy Lee reached out to me, she said, my sister has a story. Mm -hmm. I couldn't understand. I, I, I couldn't understand what she was saying because, you know, I, I heard something from her gut, even though it was just typing to me yes. to say, you need to hear my sister's story. She didn't go into anything else. Yes. And I know I tried connecting with you. Um, but for me, what I like to do is I wait until when I'm near the interview okay. to, to go through. But I shared with you already, and I just want persons to know that yesterday um, and guys you're seeing this after the fact but yesterday while minding my own business the Lord said to me go spend an hour with me okay. and in the midst of spending time with the Lord the Lord said to reach out to you yes. and I said God I can do that later and the Lord kept doing so much so that I would want to say that the Lord pulled my hand and had me send you a message yes. and matter of fact he had you send me a message uh -huh. and then had me send you a message yes. um for you to share with me and when i saw it i tell you i cried even even last night i think to myself i said god me put on a good piece of ball in yesterday <laughs> one of the time i was saying it to my friend i said simon they cry like man liquor <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's god that is good that's god, god is good. rosemary god is that good. is god, god is but good. rosie before we jump into everything i want to tell persons who are you you know where uh, you come from <laughs> where this pretty hot girl come from come from montego bay yes. yes i'm a fashionist as you can see anybody knows me <laughs> yes I love to put myself together. Yes. I love life. Yes. I yes. love life. Awesome. But there was a time when you didn't love life. Uh -huh. Yes. I. Hmm. There was a time when I thought to give up. Yeah. They know where it's living. Yeah. I even questioned God. I said, God, why are you keeping me? Mm -hmm. I have no purpose. Nobody loves me. Nobody wants to see me. Yeah. No taxi would carry me. Yeah. Nobody wanted to speak to me. Yeah. I was alone. I was in a valley. Yeah. I had yeah. a valley experience. Right, right, right. I was, I was so low that I said, I didn't take a shower for a while. I said, God, mm -hmm. kill me, you know. Because mm -hmm. I, so, I thought I was so prominent in Montego Bay yeah. that I didn't want anybody to really look down on me that much and to say, you know, mm -hmm. because the, the amount of things that they were saying yeah. had me want to die. Yes. So is it that persons knew what happened? And if they knew, how did they know? They knew because, let me tell you, you dare not trust your own. Yeah. If we live by the Bible, we cannot run. Yeah. Yeah. And so the arms of flesh will fail us. Yeah. And too many times we see failure in our lives and it's because of flesh. Yeah. Okay? Right. But when you trust God, mm. all things are possible. possible. It was my friend. I, I learned about that incident mm. from my own privacy yeah but my friend i whispered it to her yeah and she started talking about yeah. it yeah and let me tell you simone mm -hmm. i want to run but i didn't have the the body the feeling i was so weak i was yeah. so down yeah i was i was in that valley that desolation yeah i can't exp i can't explain it yeah i was yeah. so low yeah because um and i'm talking about 
been diagnosed with HIV for 22 years now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and the things that I went through, yeah. it had to be God where yeah. I'm here today. I want you to share with us some of those things that you went through, Rosemary, because let me tell you, we hear about it, mm -hmm. and we know that there are a number of persons living with yes. it here in Jamaica, yes. but we've never, I don't think persons have taken the time to talk with persons to understand because what we tend to do is shame and discrimination oh and stigma and so even though so often we're told that you can't catch it from touching mm -hmm. you can't you know people still you know standoffish and the whole works but you are going to give us a front row seat yes. to understand what we are talking about from mm -hmm. your experience mm -hmm. so let's take it back to the day when the day when you got well as a matter of fact what happened what made you go do a test I wanted to to leave the island. I was working at Sea Castles at the time yeah. and they were recruiting people to go overseas. Mm -hmm. So yes, I take up that opportunity. Who, who wouldn't want to go traveling? Yeah. But then I got a call from Kingston that they found something mm -hmm. with my blood. I said, oh, what could I have now? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even look anywhere, just thinking what could have happened. Yeah. Anyway, I drove into Kingston mm -hmm. and they pulled out a drawer and they said, right there, everything you see there, you're in it. I said, excuse me. Uh -huh. And it was a drawer full of um, passports. Yeah. And that, God bless that gentleman. He started rubbing my shoulder and he said, you are so pretty. Yeah. You have a spirit that I felt it from your came in, but you're diagnosed with it. He said, I look at it. I said, who are you talking to? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and he said, yes, but you can make it. Yeah. There and then I wish the ground would just open and take me in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. this is not something that you see and grab it. Right. This is not something that you could see and climb the tree like you would see a mango and pick it. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. wondering, living, trying to live a perfect life, trying to do the do's and the don'ts, but here comes. And yeah. at the time, mm -hmm. you didn't get to know about HIV. Yeah. You have AIDS and you go dead. Uh, yes, you that is true. AIDS and you go dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. So me, having years now, me go dead. Tomorrow mm. me go dead. Yeah. Me go dead tomorrow. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. so you hear the news me go dead. tomorrow yeah, you go dead. Me go dead tomorrow. So here mm. am I, wanted to die. Yeah. Wanted to die. Yeah. And I came home and you see, you, your body can't feed upon itself when you let it, to, Yes. when you allow it to. Yes. Because here am I, everything go wrong now. Yeah. AY. Yeah. Me go dead. Mm -hmm. So I don't want no food to eat, I mm -hmm. don't beard, I don't do nothing because yeah. I'm ready to yeah. die. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> and I was there in a rented house mm -hmm. and I was lying there, yes. When your body starts to feed upon itself, you go feel a tea take all when you don't have no tea. Mm -hmm. And I started getting sick. Mm -hmm. When I said sick, <laughs> my body within two weeks full of leprosy. Oh my I God. I was covered with sore all over. See how I'm pretty now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I was covered with leprosy. Everything going down. Yeah. I have my son then. He was young going to school. Mm -hmm. But I remember that one night I was so sick mm -hmm. that I had was to take the alcohol bottle and fling on my son. And I needed help. Yeah. I needed help, but my son was so young. Right. And I remember my son went to school, but he did not come home that evening. He mm. went straight to my mother. Yeah. And to tell my mother that I am sick because oh. I did not tell. So my you not tell time. nobody. No, at that nobody. That was me and my son. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy. And my mother come. You know yeah. what's wrong? And I said it. But before that, I told my friends. So everybody know except my mother and my people. And oh my, my God. friend make it mirror. Yes. Yeah. 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 God bless her. Yeah, yeah. You know, and my mother came and my grandmother came and everything. And at the rented place, the gentleman said, hmm, come now. Here's here, here's here, I can't turn in here, you know. Yeah, yeah. So everything started going on the train. Wrong. He puts me out. I had mm -hmm. was to move out. Right. We come I, dying. Yeah. I had was to lift up the TV. I, mean, I don't know how I took the things from the house, but I took them out and I slept outside that. Part night, I slept outside on my television. Oh my I was sitting, yeah, because me have AIDS and me go dead, so yeah, yeah, outside. And I remember vividly the morning I my mom came back and mm -hmm. I had some money. Mm -hmm. and, I, and she said to me, You want to come home? You need to come home. I said, 
I don't think so. Yeah. Because I want to be alone. I was in my valley. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And she said, I had a piece of land. You need, and I said, yes. Yes. I yeah. do not know why I choose it. Although I wanted to die, I said, give me the land. Mm -hmm. But then, you see, purpose yes. cannot die. Ah, when you don't on. know your worth, you yes. will want to die. Yes, yes. But now I love life as if I wish I had two lives. Yes, yes. You yes, understand? Yeah. Me? And I, mom, I gave my mother the money and she built that house. Where she built the house, I didn't even know. When I moved there, mm -hmm. I lost, uh, I passed the house. Somebody said, you know, it was there. Mm -hmm. And it was a quiet little place and yes. I was there. Yeah. But it began again when yeah. I go there. When I went to that place, it's the first I've been to courthouse. Yeah. Somebody said, me, said me go buy them and give them AIDS. And then came oh, to dear Jesus of mercy. Let me tell you, I've, be, I've been through a whole lot. I've, yeah. been, I've been there yeah and I went to court and yeah. I stand up mm -hmm. and the, I don't understand court like they say sue her for her mouth because mm -hmm. she said me have AIDS so me say the person say how you know she have AIDS because it doesn't have a face yeah they tell the kids don't pass my gate because they're gonna catch AIDS yeah yes a whole lot of things have been treated AIDS it wasn't like they tell you that you will have HIV and you can go from no, she yeah. have ears. I said, oh man, not so she have ears. Don't walk up there. Yeah. Don't yeah. walk past my house. Yeah. yeah. Don't. When I, when I do things, they would just laugh at me. They try to fight. They try to beat me out of the community if I yeah. wasn't strong. So, so let me ask you, what, so what had happened with work at this point? For starters, did you lose a job or what? Well, I had was to leave my job because I was that sick. I didn't even yeah. remember about job at the time. time right. Because I was so sick, taken up with HIV. Yeah. Wanted to die wanted to adapt to this new life yeah, yeah so yeah. i don't even remember what really happened how was your son how did your son deal with this because at that time so many people with with, with you know so once things get out yes, yes they would begin to um stigmatize him as yes, well yeah he had, a, he had a, at one point i had was to grab a young girl yes and say maybe kill you i will yeah. kill you i will literally trouble me but don't trouble my son yeah he didn't ask for this for yeah. me and and believe me as the time goes by believe me i don't know how to say but it must have been god yeah god have that purpose for my life mm -hmm. i know that i would be just bouncing back like this yeah so he protected my child awesome i thought god protect him for me yeah. until this day yes. so so you for you, I, I get the feeling that you moved from being a, a sweet lady mm -hmm. to anger. Very bitter. Yes. Bitter. Yeah. Bitter. Um, describe for us that, that sense of anger and thing that you, 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 know, you, you went through. Describe what? I wanted to hate people. Yeah. Hate them. And I, at one point, I tried to hate them. Yeah. Let me tell you, hate. Yeah. I don't want to see anybody. Right. Because every time I walk, the AIDS mm -hmm. My family would be in taxi. They hear people talking about me. Yeah. It was so I didn't want to go anywhere. Yeah. God bless a friend of mine. He would yeah. bring water for me. Yeah. When I need to go to the doctor, he would bring me because if I would even pay in a thousand, ten thousand at a time, no taxi want to carry me. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. No driver. Yeah. They don't want to use girl and I don't care. I even reach out to churches ah. and they put me out. They run me out. Wow. Yes, at the time. I was looking for that support. Yes. That that want to be in society again. Yes. And yes. I was put out, I was beat upon, I was spoken about. Yeah. Everything. If I if I go out on the road, mm -hmm. they point at me, they talk things. Mm -hmm. So it's like I wanted to die. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The how long after did you decide in your mind that you know what? I'm gonna live my life. It was, it was when I was there, you know, and I literally give up. Yeah. And I have an encounter with God. Mm -hmm. That was the first time God really speaks to me. Yeah. Talk to us about that encounter. God speaks to me. I was there. I didn't take a shower. I didn't eat. I didn't comb my yard. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And I was there lying down. My son was at school. Mm -hmm. And I heard this voice. Get up. Mm -hmm. Go look in the mirror. So I was looking. Who was talking? And it, again, he said, get up, go look in the mirror yeah. and repeat after me. Come on. I shall not die, mm. but live and declare the glory of God. Yeah. And I really get up and mm. I wash my hair, mm -hmm. I comb my hair and I feel, I feel that life again. Yes. God has really spoken to me and I say yeah. yes. Yeah. And right there and then I started to grab on my own strength. Now I said, yes, yeah. I can do this. Yes. With God, all things are possible. possible. And then 
you know that song say when my back was against the wall uh, he yeah. just taught me how to pray yes. songs yeah. songs really bring me back mm -hmm. you know and i started to pray me never know me could have prayed so so that's what i wanted to ask you were you a christian no prior but to that? no i wasn't a christian but i was grown up with my grandmother i had yeah. to go to church yes i was a church girl i was playing with god mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i was praying what well, god ramp rough you know that me tell you god <laughs> like at and you ramp rough mm -hmm. because I was playing with God, so God said, all right, mm -hmm. I go do something. Sure ramp you want yeah, ramp? Got, ramp yes. me a ramp. <laughs> yes. But he ramps rough. That's yes. all that is. I, I, I remember one time I was praying, and I said, Lord, I thank you for affliction. I thank you for placing a job in me. Somebody said, what is that money I'm fooling? Mm -hmm. I say, yes, God saying everything. Give thanks. Give thanks. Are you a business operator seeking an opportunity to get your products and services before a global and Caribbean audience? Then this is your opportunity. We are filming Season 5 of Uniquely Me and we want to include you. There are three ways to work with us. One, become a season sponsor or an episode sponsor. Two, advertise your products and services with us. Or three, let us review your products, your service, or your business in general. Seize the opportunity to partner with us in one or all of the ways outlined before. For more details, reach us, 1-876-856-5769, or of course, send us an email or DM us. We want to share your business. So I, I developed hatred. Mm -hmm. I started hating people. Mm -hmm. But then I, I, I asked God to give me that agape love now. Mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't a Christian, but I was, I was trying now to change. To say, all right, mm -hmm. God saved me, so you know, yeah. I'm going to change. I'm going to change to see if I could change people. Yeah. You know? So I started living. I said, God, if you save me, mm -hmm. if you heal me, mm -hmm. I'll live for you. Yeah. See, I make a bargain with yes, God now. Yeah, I make a bargain. I say, God, if you heal me, mm -hmm. I will live for you. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I ask God to give me that love. I say, regardless of how people do me wrong and all of that, yeah. help me to love them. Yeah. Help me to love them. Yeah. And I think that's what really changed me, yeah. to start loving, loving people. Yeah. Yes. So talk with me about the, so your skin had broken out. Yes. Right? You had, you had all the, the signs yes, and yes, symptoms. Yes. What got you through that or how did you take care of all of that? All right. I met this young lady and mm -hmm. she introduced me to um, a center that I should go to. Mm -hmm. And I started going there and to mm -hmm. know more people. And I always wanted to share my story. I mean, I always think for me story, I body story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when I hear people start sharing their stories, yeah you never know people go through things like you know yeah and people start we're always meeting there and mm -hmm. because at the time nobody knows about hiv so everybody was there you know sharing the story mm -hmm. no hospital wanted to look about people living with AIDS with at the time right nobody wanted to see us in their facility nobody wanted to take care of us right god bless a woman she came from overseas and she opened a place right on top road across from Chetwood school yeah and we started to go there mm -hmm. she gave us meds she do everything i know now mm -hmm. people should really want to own hiv you know mm -hmm. because everything is free and all of that we used yeah. to have to pull up in one car to go to kingston yeah test that they will do free now yeah we used to have to pay twelve thousand for it wow i used to pay wow. thirty thousand a month for medication yeah and I used to take like 12 pills a day, you know, I'm taking, you know, things have, they have come around and to see that it's not a death sentence anymore. Right. So I hope people will just own it up and when they find out, they will go to the health centers to get care because yeah. it's, it's better now yeah. than what I've been through. Yeah. Still have stigma and discrimination that right. need to be changed, but it's a bit better. So let's talk about your family members. Mm -hmm. When as family members learned of it. Mm -hmm. How did they respond to you? I was the one who would not go around them. Yeah. But they loved me. They cared for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially my sisters. They really cared for me. My mother, you know, family member, really. They did not... Well, I didn't go around them. So, yeah. But they cared. They will call and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, kudos to my family. Why didn't you, you know? go? I just... Because of how 
I didn't know about it and I didn't know how it catch or anything. So yeah. I I rather to stay away. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want anything happen and they say I mean. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's like a blame game on myself. Yeah. I didn't want anything come up, you know, and it caused by me. Yeah. I was taking time out to learn yes. about it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, so you had to adjust. Yes. And you uh, adjusted. Yes. And would you say that as you adjusted that other persons adjusted to you? Yes, yes, yes. And I ask because, you see, people respond to what we put out. Okay. That's how they respond. So if you if you respond with hostility, that's yes. how they're going to um, respond yes. to you. But and and uh, like you shared earlier, that persons would you know you know what they, they labeled you and put you in a corner in a sense. But you had to do something so that persons could come back around. What did you do to allow persons to come back around and recognize? And listen, no, I'm not as hostile as you think I am. I'm dealing with this, and I need you to get over yourself and deal with it. What did you do? Yes, mm -hmm. you know, I would get up, mm -hmm. dress up, yes. and go out. Yes. Yes, I started to put myself together as I yeah. know how. Yeah. Yes, because I always been this yeah. fashionista, you know. Yeah. So I started to do things that I love. Yeah. I started to get in back in my world now and to do me. Yes. So I said, okay. I stop watching those behind me, mm -hmm. and I start put forward. Yeah, I, 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 I know the plans that I had for my life. So I say yes. I will not let HIV stop me. Come I on. want to travel. I want to live my full life. Yes. I want to get married. I want to own a house. And I started go for my goals. Yes. I, I put aside now HIV. Right. That's it by itself. Right. Because right. it doesn't stop me right. from from achieving. Right. And I remember I had some money. Yeah. I had some money, and I challenged God again. I say God. I'm going to the embassy mm -hmm. to look my visa. And if you know, give me. I mean, I know what I'm going to do, you know, because mm -hmm. I only money I have, you know. Mm -hmm. Somebody asks you. And uh, 2014, to be exact, I went to look my visa and I got it. I yeah. said, yes, God, that's number one. Yeah. And uh, I was building and I started again to build. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started to build and say, yes, God, you're giving me a house. Yes. And everything started falling back in place. Nice. My goals, I started to reach for my goals. When I had another mess up, um, 2015, yeah. I had to do a surgery. Yeah. I had some issues and she said, God, after my body they did one something, something again. Mm -hmm. But God said, just trust me, I'm with yeah. you. Yeah. Because then I start to look to God. I, start, yeah. I build my faith in God. Right. And I said, God, I'm here you in this now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here you in this. I'm going to trust you yes. and you're going to bring me out. Yes. I did a surgery 2015 and I came out. Bless God. And, and I, I started to look to God. I yes. look nowhere else. I yes. don't look to the left or the right. right. I say, God, you have taken me through this. Yes. And we are going to go through this uh, together. Yes. And uh, 2015, after I did that surgery, I was lying in my bed and I have another encounter with God. Yes. I was lying there and I heard a voice said, you are nothing without me. Mm -hmm. And I was looking again because mm -hmm. that same voice. And I look again and he said, you are nothing without God. You mm. are nothing. Yes, yes. And I get up, believe me, I just did the surgery. Mm -hmm. My tummy, I got a cut and I took my time and I went down to my church that I am at now. Mm -hmm. And I said, Pastor, I'm ready. And everybody was saying, but you just, I said, yes, if God took me to this, yes. he will take me further. further yeah. And I really got saved. 2015 is when I stopped playing with God. Ah. Because I find out saying ramp rough. Oh, Jesus is Yes, mm -hmm. God ramp rough. Yes. So I stopped playing church. Yes. And I really sold out to God. You know, all of us sin and come short of the glory. Right. I didn't say, like, I don't miss up sometime. But mm -hmm. I really sold out to God. And I continue with God. And I started to live for God. Yeah. And things really turn around for me. Ah, bless God, bless God. Really turn around for me. Bless God. Yes. So, support, support, support other than family members. You, there's, there's some support that you need. You need it. Yes. And I noticed, I remember you even said to me that um, mm -hmm. it opened a door for you. Yes. Talk with us about that door that it opened. How did that door open support for you yes. and in turn made you a support right. system? It, it, it opened, it was a one door, it opened, opened many doors. Yes. Um, at that time, you know, when you come out to really own HIV, you have to own it, you know. Yeah. To live with it, you yes. have to own it. Yes. So I started owning it. It's yes. mine. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's mm -hmm. mine. So I started owning HIV and I started to talk about HIV. Yeah. I started to tell people 
mm -hmm. about what I've been through yeah. and they should never really make that mistake to go through that. Yeah. Yeah. So people started to knowing me and people would see me and I sharing my story makes me live. Wow. Yes. I wow. always want to share my story. It's always an issue to share. And people would say, oh my God, you're talking. I say, yes, I want to talk about it mm -hmm. because I need to help other people. Yes. And I started to talk about it and I meet people different mm -hmm. places until they were recruiting people knowing that you're owning so that bunch of us that owns HIV yes. they said they have a training for us yes. so we said alright training and they started training us mm -hmm. how to encourage people how to go through yeah. living with HIV Yes. and it was in Ocherios here at Turco Towers yeah. I remember vividly Raquel McCarthy one of the best psychologists in Mont Montego Bay yes. Kevin Harvey and Dr. Figaro was those people and I came and they said, Rosemary, you are good, you are outspoken. Mm -hmm. You are one of the persons from Montego Bay who we will take to, to talk to people living here. And I cried. I uh. said, no. <laughs> I said, no. Mm -hmm. And they said, yes, you owned it and you really speak about HIV. And we are with you. And I started working at Con Original. Yeah. Yeah. Um, encouraging people how to live. So you find HIV. job, my girl, big job. Job. <laughs> out of that. Yes. You see, out yes. of that. Yes, I started working at Con Original as a adherence counselor. Wow, wow. Yes. Um, are you still doing that job? No, no, no. no okay, no. okay. Move up. You move <laughs> up. <laughs> what do you do now? I, I'm in church, so I really, I sing on the choir. Mm -hmm. And I, anything to, singing, yeah. that's my gift from God. Yeah. I can't preach, I can't mm -hmm. do anything. I love to sing. Anybody know me, I love to sing. Mm -hmm. I'm a songbird for God. Yeah. So I will sing. And I represent my church anywhere I go. Like I'll go out and sing for my mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't really work now. I'm so blessed yes. that I don't work now. Sure, girl. I'm so oh, blessed. Yes. I like it. Yes, I'm so <laughs> blessed. Yes. Awesome. Yes. The you have you've decided to come out yes. to share on this platform, yes. and I know many persons probably asking why are you coming out now, mm -hmm. um, and I guess. Because in their minds, you know, they think they know your story. Oh, oh. Um, but why are you coming out now? Because my story makes me who I am today. Yes. They don't know my glory. So when they see me praising, don't tear me down. Yes. When they see me worshiping, don't tear me down. Mm -hmm. When you see me dress up and they go, oh, not tear me down. Yes. Because it was my story. Yeah. that give me this glory to move on. People think they know my story. Yeah. Nobody know my story like I do. Yeah. They yeah. speculate and they would talk about my story yeah. makes me who I am today. Yeah. Because I'm showing people that without God, we are nothing. Yes. Without God, we are nothing. Yes. When I really accepted God and everything turned around, here one lady one day, did something left your man. <laughs> <laughs> I said, God said, by his stripes, I am healed. Amen. Me say, your mouth will never hold me down again. Yes. I am healed, yes. thus said the Lord. Yes. And I started to talk about God in everything that I do. Yes. I put God first. Yes. And that is what makes me who I am today. Ah. I'm happy that day when I chose the Lord. And I didn't choose the Lord, the Lord chose me. Because yes. sometimes when I get upset to, you know, with people, we'll still say things. Mm -hmm. Me say, God, a fool, you set me for. Mm -hmm. You make me into a fool, make people. But God said, no, I'll fight your battles for you. Yeah. Even the other day, I am so so blessed that I say, God, if I them a little table you put before me, I mean, anybody I'm confused. When you put the gold table and the diamond table and every other no, table, turnover. what are they gonna do? Because mm -hmm. I know that God have a great plan for my life. Yes. God yes. have some plans for me yes. that only Him alone know about. My God. Yes. yes. And yes, I know God. that. Even sharing this story, yes. I'll be getting called because I know that there are people out there that would want to see somebody that owns HIV. Yes. 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 Because many people are still living in denial. They are living in a shelter. That's but true. listen, I know that my God yes. said by his stripes, yes. I am healed. Yes. Purpose will not die. Yes. I am a purpose. Hey, and I, that is why I, I came out because even people saying, oh, you're not ready. You can't tell me that I'm not ready. Yeah. If God has kept me for this, yes. he will keep me further. That's true. When um, Corona came out here, somebody, like people would come here and say, Lord, you have one hand. Me say, me don't underline, me have overline. <laughs> me say, with God, I have a overline. Me don't underline. Amen. God now bring me out of HIV and give me um, Corona. Yes. Me say, I curse it from the roots. Yes, come yes. on, my God. I, I really stand up 
with power and clarity when I speak about my God. Yes. Because I know that He's a good God. God amen. If, if He had kept me from all that people say and do yes. and give me restoration is my portion, yes. why should I fear anything now? That's true. That's no. true. I, I, I'm happy you went to Corona because I really wanted to know, you know, in in times like these we know we know it is said that you know persons with hiv are considered to be vulnerable mm. one of the set of persons vulnerable how have you have you done anything differently to really and truly keep yourself we know that god is able but have you done anything differently to ensure that you are safe yes because god said we should be wise come on girl god said we should be wise he said obedience is better than sacrifice yes so i try to stay away from crowd yes. i try to stay away from which i started that from a long time yes because you know what i say simone mm -hmm. me know me have me no know why you have uh, so me ever they run from you because <laughs> they have run from me you know yes. so I'm, I'm running from, from people them. now yes. yes i say i know what i have i don't know why you have yes. so i try to care, stay away from people i love yes. that yes. i love that I so try. you stay away from crowds yes. what else do you do i i do um i take my vitamins i take care of me yes i take care of me mm. yes because if you don't take care of you nobody will take care of you. that's true so that's i true. take care i wear my mask whenever i'm going out yes I try to, I know well from a longer time traveling privately because okay. I try to, God has blessed me. Mm -hmm. So I pay that whenever I'm ready to move out, pay and do my business. And believe me, God, God is good. Ah. God is, God is a yes, healer. God. Yes. He's a giver. Yes. He's a father. Yes. He's a lover. Yes. I've never met a man yes. so good to me. Oh my I've God. I've never yes. met a man yes. that is so good to me. Um, he supplies every everything. need. My God. Every, I've, ne I've never lacked anything. My God. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Even in Corona, yes. He blessed me oh. bountifully. Bless the Lord. Yes. Bless the Lord. Yes. How are you now? Good. Excellent. So if we... Healthy. Awesome. Healthy. And that's what I want, want you to share with us, you know, because like we said earlier, persons think that if you have HIV, mm -hmm. you have AIDS. Mm -hmm. And we, we want, I want you to help us to understand the difference between HIV and AIDS. Okay. AIDS mm -hmm. is when your body, your, your immune system mm -hmm. is low, break yeah. down. Yeah. Because you don't take care of you. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm undetectable. If you ah. test me now, you won't see HIV in my body. I'm oh. undetectable. I'm on my meds. I yes. do everything that is to be done yes. to live with HIV. Mm. I want to live now. I don't want to die anymore. Yeah. So I try to stick to my medications. Yes. I do my, um, take my, my vitamins. Yes. I try to eat well. When you know Jamaica, you try to eat well. It's a custom. I, look, yeah. Yeah. I try to do what is best for my body. Yes to be well yes. to live with hiv i do not have hiv i am my body is so suppressed with the medication they are giving some good medication oh i would god. encourage anybody to go and take their medications oh my god own up hiv and go and look about you yeah yes yeah. i'm happy you share that you know because again we, we lack education yes. and I, I you know i'm wondering i'm really wondering lord what you're doing because a lot of these i want to use my platform to educate people yes. about the various things that we have um become one we we we, we have discrimination mm -hmm. stigma and we stand off from without the knowledge of it um how do persons persons what do you say to persons now who are looking on who are watching and saying yeah really what do you say to those persons go seek help we have a lot of help places jane plus is one of our health center help oh, centers okay. that really help people jane plus mm -hmm. you can reach out to even people in the hospitals now mm -hmm. you know they put to really educate you about hiv yeah and yeah. you can live you yeah. will live if you want to live yes. but you have to want to live yeah. so nobody they will give you the medication and you'll put it aside mm -hmm. no you have to take it ah. take it as all they give you to mm -hmm. take Yes. take care of you yes eat well get your rest yes. you might be not that you can't drink but you know drinking the rum and the boom and smoking and all of that that's not good for your body it's body. not good for nobody yes so living putting it's just like putting water in a gas tank mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if, if you, your car is supposed to use gas but mm -hmm. you use water that's mm -hmm. not good for it yeah so things that you put into your body yes that really ruin 
and fight and it want to fight against what is already there yes. so it, it's going to break down your system ah, you know okay. you have to treat yourself well yeah treat yourself well yeah and you will get over yeah. because hiv is not a death sentence yeah. it's ah. not yeah many people have passed hiv didn't kill them yeah. it's other things that they catch pneumonia they yes. go out in the rain they some more they have shorter breath they yeah. catch other things yeah and that's it yeah yeah let me ask you a question I know it's an obvious question, mm -hmm. um, but, and we hear it so often, but let me ask you again, just for those listening, can you catch HIV from touching? No. So no. because persons, again, you see, and I'm asking because I yes. want persons to understand, yes. because we, we need to get rid of the stigma. And it is also because of the stigma where a lot of persons are not taking care of themselves. Um, a lot of persons are also blaming themselves. What do you say to those persons who are blaming themselves? Because I, I, I've read, Professor Carl Stone's book mm -hmm. and well written by his wife Rosie Stone mm -hmm. and she would have she shares in her book about so many persons older women and stuff um, who would have contracted this disease um, many would have given up on the kind of thing what do you what's your take what's my take on it mm -hmm. well HIV nobody sees blaming HIV. themselves nobody mm -hmm. sees hiv it doesn't have a face yeah it doesn't have a face yeah and hiv come by two persons having sex right yeah so it's for us to take and tr take charge of ourselves right all right. Right? right right if you're going out there bring your card down yeah implement it yes take it with you yes if it is that you're gonna have sex implement your condom always have it yes if you know that's that's your fun that you're gonna have Yes. And HIV is not a death sentence, as I told you, mm -hmm. but people take it as if you are the one who chose it. You yeah. did not choose HIV. Yeah. yeah. You did not choose it. Yeah. But then you have to accept it. Acceptance is a word. Right. If it comes your way, own it. Yes. And want to live. Yeah. And you will live. Yes. Because it doesn't kill you. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just another thing. Yeah. It doesn't kill. I tell anybody, it doesn't yeah. kill. As you wouldn't know me today, I wouldn't be talking today. 20 years later. 22 years. years. Ah. 22, 22 years. years awesome have you had any other children since no okay no, no have no. you moved on with life are you gonna get married oh wow you? <laughs> I'll, in, I'll invite you at the wedding yes, yes. i want to get married i don't want to be single but if it's god's will yes. but god said we should build our request known unto him yes i always want to get married yes. and if i could have children i would have a triplet i chop. make up for what <laughs> i didn't have yes. because it never wrapped me you know of, yes. of, of some good times you know yes. younger years yeah so you know if i should have three kids yeah god would let me be like sarah and give me kids but I, <laughs> I want to get married i want to live a good life a full life for god yes but i leave everything in his hands yes and his time awesome yes we're gonna wrap up but i want you to speak to i want you to speak to those who 22 years ago things said them when you know you when you speak to them first <laughs> I met oh them know, so look God. here. I don't want to say stuff about me. Yes. I don't know when think or know my story. More you talk to them first and let me tell you who's more you talk to. Talk okay, to them first. Okay, let me Give say. Give them attitude yes. too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the whole world know me now, Simone, because I, mm -hmm. I don't really hide anything. Yes. I'm an open book. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm an open book. But then people would get astonished. When they see me sometimes, they would open with a... Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, and they would question even friends when they see me like other friends and say, I know my reader. I mean, say, Yes, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, no more, no go nowhere with me. Yeah, yeah me, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, me give them attitude. I used to say, like, Oh, you look so good, me say, Oh, no more. God say, No, nowadays, say, girl, oh, you're so pretty, me say, God, grace and mercy, amen. Me say, God has kept him for a time as this. Oh, come on, yes, yes. I yes. use the word of God. I said, By his stripes, yes, I am healed, yes, yes. Me say, okay, the, the, the black truck one went by, where are they? Yeah, me no am bother dead. No, I shall live. Amen. I shall live. Amen. Because that's the word of the Lord. Amen. I shall live. Amen. I shall not die. And then the other day, a new song that Bojo sing, I was buried alive. Oh, hello. But now I'm breathing. Come on. I was a seed that was planted. I was covered with dirt. Yes. But then I was on good soil. Yes. So I plucked up. Mm. Yes, I plucked up and now I'm blooming. Oh, girl. I'm pretty. I. I'm happy. Yes. I want to live. Yes. I love life. Yes. I love people. Oh, For my God. all that they have said, yes. I put it aside. I said, God, give me that agap love. Yes. I love the world. I love people. Yes. Because if I don't love them, yes. God wouldn't be blessing me like this. Ah, that's so from true. a pure heart yes i love yes. i love because i say god if me figure out yet the world at home i go get the world in my chest too yeah, much afford it. i'm more pretty frock for dress up and cute and nice <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, everybody knows me. I love to dress up and show up. Yes. So thank God yes. for because maybe if I didn't have a story, yes. God would never get my glory. Oh my God. Because I didn't know God. Yeah. I was in sin deep. Yeah. So at least I out of this story, yes. God gets every glory, glory. now. Every glory. Bless I give the God the glory. Bless the yes. Lord. A married woman, a woman in a stable relationship, mm -hmm. has just found out that she's she's diagnosed. Mm -hmm. She's positive for HIV. What do you say to her? She has she's ready to give up. Mm -hmm. Her children, she's not even paying the children in the mind, or even a child that's diagnosed, you know, um, or born into this. What do we say to them? Show them love. Yeah. Stigma and discrimination kills. Yeah. Stigma and discrimination yeah. kills. 22 years and going, yeah. and there is still stigma and discrimination. Yeah. I'm praying about it, and yeah. I wish others will pray mm -hmm. and help them to move from discrimination and stigma. Yeah. When any family member or anybody comes up with HIV, yeah. love them. Yeah. They did not see HIV and chose it. Mm -hmm. HIV yeah. comes by itself. Yeah. It doesn't have a face. Yeah. You cannot touch it. Yeah. You cannot see it. Yeah. So when people come up, yeah. love them. Yeah. Whatever yeah. circumstances, yeah. love people. Yeah. That's all we need, you know? Yeah. We need love. Um, we need love. Yeah. Love, believe me, yeah. I'm happy that my families love me. Yeah. And that's what keeps me. My friends, yeah. I have some good friends. Yeah. I have one particular, my girlfriend, Juliet, she's in Florida. Yeah. When I get sick, and I used to go to the doctor. And if I sit at the hospital and they don't give me a bed, yeah. she's not leaving me. She would wow. never leave my bed. Until I get a bed, and when I get that bed, mm -hmm. she would go home, cook some food, mm -hmm. take a shower, and come back to stay with me until. If wow. it's four days, she's with me. God bless her soul, mm -hmm. bless her children, grandchildren, yeah. Yeah. because that's a friend. Yeah. When you see people that love you yeah. and accept you for yeah. what happened to you, yes. you will want to live. Yeah. But when people stigmatize you, mm -hmm. put you down as if you are nothing, yeah. believe me, yeah. it makes you want to die because uh, you have no purpose living for. Nobody mm -hmm. loves you. Yeah. Lastly, persons like myself with platforms like these, mm -hmm. what more can we do to get this message of hope and love out? There's nothing that you can do, you know, Simone. Just mm -hmm. keep your platforms open to anybody that will come. Yeah. Because what I want to tell people now, mm -hmm. HIV, we can own it. Yeah. Yes, we need to own it and yeah. move on. Yeah. We need to own HIV yeah. and let people know that if we don't make a change, they will not change from stigma and discrimination. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you still have people living in denial, yeah. going around maybe, I don't know, I'm not blaming anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're doing with their life, but owns HIV, yeah. live with HIV, show the world that HIV yeah. doesn't kill. Yeah. Let us come out boldly. Yeah. Not everybody gonna come out like me, but I am making a change today. Yeah. Yeah. I am making a change. Yeah. I'm making it. I didn't even know my own strength. Ah. I didn't even know I could do this. I didn't yeah. see myself doing this. Yeah. But God said, it's time for you to ask, to yeah. go on a platform. And when I see this platform, mm -hmm. I run. My God. I was so happy. I found mm. it as a privilege to come on to talk about HIV. Yeah. Because maybe I'll be helping somebody else to live and to want to live. That's true. Okay? That's true. And That's that true. is why I really wanted to share my story. I'm not ashamed. Awesome. I'm not ashamed because I have a father yeah. who cares for me. Yeah. Nobody, I'm not going begging anything. So you can't say to me, why are you going to talk HIV? So no, come on my yard. No. My father has given me a house to live in. Yes. He yes. prepared food for me. Yeah. Yes. He's a sustainer. Ah. And that is why I can come out and speak because yes. my father is a millionaire. Hey. Yes. Bless God. Bless my God. father provides for me. I don't beg anybody anything. Yeah. So it's not for me to go home this evening and say, you're going to talk about that. Should I not come on my yard? No. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that God has given me this platform yes. that I can share because it is out of the grace and mercies of God yeah. why I'm still here. Bless God. Bless God. I am I'm so happy that you've come. Yes. I'm I'm so happy I drove from Kingston to come to Ochi to do this filming. Um I I, I as I listen to you, I think the Lord has given you a little bit more tank in your oil in your tank or gas in your tank mm -hmm. to reach out and support some other people. 
because coming out on this platform is now going to open a door mm -hmm. for others who've been silent, yes. suffering in silence, yes. to come out. And there are there's somebody who is looking for somebody that, to talk to. Yes. They're looking for somebody that they can trust. Yes. Because like you, some would have um, told their friends and their friends betrayed mm -hmm. them. Some are afraid to tell anybody at all yes. Yes. Um, because they are afraid of how persons will react. And so they are looking for a safe place. And so I want to, with your, with your approval, that you will be a safe place. If persons reach out, yes. that I can transfer them over to you yes. as a safe place that they can talk yes. to, yes. that they can find courage. Because again, you would know where they can find some of the help that they need yes. and can guide them. Yes. Yes. All right. So let me just thank you yes. so much thank for coming you, out. Um, I bless you. Yes. When I say I bless you, I bless you because I mean, no, no, Jesus just nice. And I look at you and I see the glory of the Lord. Yes. I, I listen to you and I hear his love on the inside. I see it blooming. I see and, and girl, let me tell you something. Jesus never make you this bubbly just so. No. You see? He did it for a purpose. He did yes. it for a reason. And somebody is going to find this to be a source of strength for them. So I just want to bless you and say thank you so much yes, for coming you. on and sharing on Uniquely Me yes. uh, with so many persons. And one of our top um, per, top group that watches this program is from Jamaica. So everybody know, I'm going to know you. So but we're, <laughs> I love it. But I'm happy that they will now know the truth right and not go around with their own perspective and those who 22 years ago had their own perspective ah come on girl come on bless you yes, bless yes, you bless yes. you i'm happy that i could travel to come yesterday i was so upset yes when we tried to do it but the devil has never won a battle and god when what we do it like this yes but yes. i i think god yes. wanted us and to do it like this what i wanted to do you know yeah i didn't want to do any zoom <laughs> Face to face, of course, and you see God work things out. Oh, yes. 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 yes, yes, thank you, yes. thank you too for having me. Nice and you can, I'll be coming on back when I get married. Yay. I'll come and share the story. I love it, girl, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You heard it right here on Uniquely Me with Simone Stewart, guys. Let me tell you something purpose candid. Let me just tell you, let me just tell you as is purpose cannot die and the enemy will try to bring afflictions upon you and different 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 nightmares want of a better word they'll ridicule you and that kind of thing but let me tell you something they don't understand that god has a plan for your life jeremiah 29 verse 11 i'm declar declaring it over somebody right now that god has for you an expected end and so that end is beautiful just look at just look at rosemary you'll see for yourself HIV as she says it's not a death sentence it's not the end of the world and those of you who are failing to get up you are diagnosed and you know so you're diagnosed nobody not only you alone know but you've not been taking your meds it's not helping you listen prove to everybody that you can beat this prove to HIV itself that you can beat this take your meds get up you heard her she the Lord told her to get up something to you get up go dress up go beard wash your hair comb your hair wash your face put on some makeup dress up and step out and you don't care about who wants to look that's their business you don't know what they have you know what you have so you're taking care of you so that's our message here from uniquely me we are supporting those who are struggling the stigma um, and shame we're not supporting it we're saying put a stop to HIV and AIDS stigma right and the discrimination and let's help them let's show them some love let's reach out right it could be me it could be you we never know we don't know what tomorrow bring but guys thank you again for tuning into uniquely me make sure that you are subscribing you're liking you're commenting please let me know how this particular episode has helped you and like you heard rosemary saying if you need help if you're looking for somebody that you can talk with she's available just reach out to me me link you up and listen let me tell you prepare for love she's full of joke <laughs> all right guys enough of me see you next week with another exciting episode bye bye are you a business operator seeking an opportunity to get your products and services before a global and Caribbean audience? Then this is your opportunity. We are filming season five of Uniquely Me and we want to include you. There are three ways to work with us. One, become a season sponsor or an episode sponsor. Two, advertise your products and services with us. Or three, 
let us review your products, your service, or your business in general. Seize the opportunity to partner with us in one or all of the ways outlined before. For more details, reach us 1-876-856-5769 or of course, send us an email or DM us. We want to share your business.